Right, to fix the Vulcan hand, first you need to put the EMG sensor onto the user. Here you are. Check that it is a comfortable fit and somewhere where they have strong signal. In the case of our user here, this is on their bicep. Is that okay? Yeah. Right. The next step is to check the socket fit. So place the socket onto the user and let them do a comfort test and check their range of movement. Is this comfortable? Yeah, comfortable at the moment. Okay. Once you have confirmed that the socket is a good fit, we will check the battery. For the battery, you put the front end in, ensure the tabs are aligned, and put it down. The magnet will lock the battery in place. Quickly check, is that still feeling okay? Not too heavy? No, not too heavy. Okay. Before you put the hand onto the user, it is important to check very quickly that the thumb is working. The Vulcan hand has three different thumb configurations that are manually clicked to. So do a very quick range of motion check and ensure that the hand is fully mobile. Once you have done this, press in the two buttons on either side of the wrist to connect it to the main socket. You will see a blue LED light up on the front of the battery to show it has power. And you should also see a light appear in the logo on the top of the hand. This lets you know that power is being received by the hand from this battery. Next, onto calibrating the sensor. In order to control your Vulcan hand and sensor system, you will need to download the Vulcan Augmentics app. To do this, first, go to Google Play Store, search for Vulcan Augmentics, and download the app. Once you have opened it for the first time, you will need to register and fill in all of your details, and then make sure that Bluetooth and GPS are enabled and accessible. Once you are sure the hand is a good fit, it is time to turn on and calibrate the sensor. First step is to check that the hand is off. So turn it off on the battery socket. And for your phone, ensure that Bluetooth is on and GPS is enabled. Now the next step, turn on the myoband. Hold down the button for two seconds. You will see a red LED flash followed by either white flashing or a steady blue light. This means that the band is looking for signal. To connect it, open your Vulcan app and you will see the front page with two different places to put your devices. Tap add device and it will scan for Bluetooth devices that are nearby. You should be able to find your sensor and press once to connect. Then. On the main page, press connect again, and your device will now be linked to your phone. Once you go into your device, press the button at the bottom that says calibration. There are two ways to calibrate this device, manually and automatically. Most of our users prefer the automatic version. So to do this, you tap the button at the bottom and you will now be recording two states from the user, a contraction state and a rest state. The first one is to record the rest state. So for this, the user needs to hold their hand up and they need to be taking the weight of the hand without moving it. So hold this for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. We've now recorded the rest state the next step is to record the contraction state of the user. For this, the user should tense their muscles in a way that is easily repeatable for them and that still allows them a range of movement. It is very important that they do not tense too much because then you will overshoot the threshold. So, hold up your hand. Let's go contraction state recording. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we have this recorded, you press the save button and it will display for you your settings. In this case, the lower threshold is 24, the upper threshold is 47. You can adjust these manually later on. Once you have saved this, you can go back out and you can look at the user logic. There are two further things you can do here. 
We have a logic that enables you to contract your muscles to close the hand or contract your muscles to open the hand. To test this, turn on the hand. And for the hand, you will now have to add this as a device. It is the same process as the band. Tap add device, tap on your hand, ensure it is connected. And now the system is ready to go. So we will do a very quick test. So can you contract and relax your muscles? Is that comfortable and easy to use? Easy to control. Okay. And that is your user now set up and ready to go. Once your hand is connected to the app, you can go into the app and adjust some of the settings. You can also adjust the hand speed. There are three speeds, slow, medium, and fast, and these adjust how quickly it will open or close. This is currently slow. This is medium. And this is fast. You can also see just below, there is a measurement of the degrees to which the hand is open. So some quick tips and tricks for practicing with the hand and improving your user experience. First, we are going to do a quick dexterity test. Do please put these blocks on top of each other. So one thing you will notice is that although you can rotate the wrist and adjust your angle this way, what Dirk and most of our users do is swing their elbow out so that they can adjust the angle. This is a much faster and more effective way to grasp objects. We find that a top-down grip is more effective. Now we are going to try a slightly more complicated two-handed task, opening and pouring a flask of water. Normally for tasks like this, the Vulcan hand will grasp the object and the user's organic hand will manipulate. You'll notice that the main way that they are adjusting the angle is through moving their elbow. If you have followed these steps correctly, your patient will now be able to fully use the Vulcan hand and sensor independently. Thank you for choosing Vulcan.